What's up, everybody? Um, the reason you guys see all this really cool background I got going on here, that's because I'm going to start doing my at least most of my jersey reviews in my son's room. Um, and that's why you see all the Spider-Man stuff in the background. Um, I'm doing them in here because he's got the biggest window in the house, so I get the best lighting here. Um, so just in case you guys thought I was like just a giant big kid and this was my bedroom. <laughs> Unfortunately, my wife won't let me have my room set up like this. I wish she, I wish she would, but this is the review for my Allen Iverson 96-97 Mitchell & Ness jersey. I have the USA version and this one is for the uh, red one, which would be the away one. Um, and to start you off, the USA version uh, has more of a rounded v-neck rather than like a straight v-neck. Um, that's just how they made them the first runs. This is a first run one, so it's probably at least I would say 12 years old, probably. Um, it's in really good condition though. Um, you got the 50th anniversary gold NBA logo, which is really cool. A lot of people, they made a lot of good jerseys in the 96, 97 season with them Golden BA logos. And um, you got the collar and the trim around the arm is just red and white. Um, then you got the red, white, and blue on the side, the sides of it, which is looks really nice, really good material. Um, then this is where it's crazy is the Sixers logo is like this quadruple stitched type thing. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, it's almost like a patch. You got like, even I say quadruple, I don't even know if that's the right word for it. But you got, basically you got four layers of stitching. You got that white, that blue, the red, and then white again. So you got a very nice number of stitching on this jersey. It's incredible. Real nice looking, old school 90s Sixers logo. I love 90s basketball jerseys. I, just, I love 90s jerseys, period. It just seems like that's when all the best looking stuff was made. Um, and then you got the double stitch number three, right under that Sixers logo. Um, and then the jock tag should look like this, at least on the USA version. You got 1996-97. You got Hardwood Classics right there. And then under that, you got the Mitchell and Ness tag, uh, made in USA. My size tag is actually like worn out, worn off. I should probably just cut that off to make it look better, but I haven't yet. But this is a 52, and reason I know that is because on the inside, I got this tag that says. 2X right there, or XXL, which would indicate to me that it is a 52. Um, these don't really run, the, at least this one, this doesn't really run big or nothing like the football jersey used to do. Um, you know, it, it fits just like a, you would expect a 52 or 2XL to fit. Um, and then on the back, you got Iverson single stitched with the large number three right there. Nice stitching. This jersey is in great condition. This isn't a new pickup. This is I've shown this uh, jersey in a video before. Just this video is is just a full on review of it. You got that double stitch number three. Very nice, especially for you know like over a century old or not, sorry not a century a decade old jersey. Um, get you an overall look at that. Very, very nice jer looking jersey. Um, so, yep, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Um, shout out to all the Sixers fans uh, and the jersey community. Um, all the Allen Iverson fans, um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, thank you. Peace.